Hi everyone. Welcome to today's meeting. You've heard some of this um, exultant uh, music uh, of the Mata Shakti or Mother Shakti, which is the feminine force of of the one polarity of the multiverse, which is also called Kundalini. And Kundalini has gradations like life force energy, prana. It's not exactly the same as Kundalini, but it's, it's, it's another quali qualitative version of it. And as you dropped into this music, you can already find this exuberance of creative flow and almost wild becoming of the feminine. The feminine is this wild becoming moment to moment. And I'd like to share with you what I've found out. It's almost just putting pieces together throughout my own individual path. What, what does Kundalini have to do with ascension? What does Kundalini awakening have to do with your higher self? Your soul embodiment? Non-duality? And essentially embodying this new golden age, which is the Sat Yuga. Sat means light. And here we are, I'm quoting somebody, but we're becoming white magicians. And I would call us light magi magicians. As we embody our light, which means our, we are stepping towards embodying our soul. That's what we are working on. And so Kundalini Shakti is present, as I said, in everyone before. It is that staff from which everything emanates, that immense creational force that is your, also your sexuality, your breath, your being. And if you know something, you know one thing that you are. You don't have to know anything else. The one thing you know is that you are, you know that for certain. It's the only knowing that you need. And so what does ascension as a first step have to do with Kundalini? Kundalini energy when it's awakened or when you tune into, like you can use me as an antenna you can zoom into me or usually I zoom into you and you can ride on my Kundalini so that you open your own Kundalini. That is just the basis of Shakti part, which means that I translate the multiversal electric photonic light intelligence into your body. It's almost like through me as a, a generator, you plug yourself in. I am not glorifying myself. Everybody has this ability. I just found out. Maybe I'm like a step ahead. Maybe some of you are even more ahead. I am not measuring who is where. I'm just talking about the process of plugging into this electric light force that that is needed for the cleansing of reversals. And today we are talking about reversals. We do not have to mystify reversals. 
we can also go into greatest detail how the reversals and the manipulation of our DNA all the way up to the 11th dimension happened in the past um, and now how we are progressing out of these inversions because what's happening we have solar storms we have wonderful um, light showers coming in right now and the light is becoming stronger and stronger as you can tell and we today and every day we can harness this light in order to ascend and I think a lot of new age studies of chakras and kundalini don't mention something really basic is that from chakra one uh, and I'm just going to talk about the seven chakras but there are a hundred and eight to a hundred and twelve and more but we are just going to talk about the seven main chakras and also the fifth dimensional chakra of the Alta major chakra and the higher heart which is approximately in the location of this body but what I wanted to note is that these chakras are not physical they are etheric and what they are is they are a different dimensional plane and you will notice and you can actually use this as a barometer what chakra is is actually obstructing your oneness with the light your natural being one with mother father god so you can always see these indications is it the fear blocking it is it lack of life force energy is it too many addictions is it too many attachments is it lack all of these are planes of existence that are within these chakras that are these chakras and depending on how much you cleared yourself you can actually then open to your multi-dimensional being and this is really important how do you a lot of people ask me how do you start hearing the voice of your higher self now the more you clear your energy centers and the subtle channels which are the nadis from the body that's why we also do practical work with kriya yoga the more you do that then you are becoming your higher self and then ultimately the purpose of full kundalini opening is when you actually bring the soul down into the plane of the physical body so that is that that is that full embodiment of your light and this is a process as I point out not a lot of people did it just right away some did it but most of us we're doing it gradually also a lot of people are searching for their life purpose now that's never going to arrive through your thinking mind and the purpose is then arrive that naturally through your organic connection to your higher self and once you connect to your higher self then when you look back at your life you look back at your life path and sometimes other life paths also come up from past lives to just make make sense of your current purpose so-called why are you on this earth plane and so once this multi-dimensionality is, is open it's clear like everything that is obstructing this understanding is opened 
in just a second, then, then you can start knowing that you are not this limited body. And the very step, first step is to enter your inner light. I do trust that most, most of us in, are in our inner light. So most of us are open to energy, open to um, a different viewpoint, a, a diff different way of knowing, being. Yes, not just a very limited, um, three-dimensional kind of understanding and a materialistic point of view. That's not what we have here. Yes, Amalia. Is it important to uh, remember your past lives in no. order to heal no. this life? No. Whatever comes up in the now moment, whatever now in this life comes up whether it from it, it doesn't really matter if it's from when you were five years old or like a millionth life back it doesn't really matter it's just an energy imprint that needs to be cleared if it's obstructing something and if it's just a lot of us who have this connection, this is a Vedic study and I, I have a first-hand experience with this, that those people who are drawn to this work, they've done a lot of work already in their past life. So, so in this sense, past life can be helpful or past life can be a hindrance, but a hindrance insofar as it's just here to magnify stuff that you need to get rid of like if you have uh, addiction problems they may even come from past lives you know so, because the chit it is the conglomerate of energetic impulses from all the lifetimes because there's no time that needs to be cleared out and i would i would imagine vedic vedic uh, philosophy teaches that we need to get rid of the samskaras, these imprintings of the memory, and these are equitable with, with inversions. And any inversion that you might experience, so how do you, how do you know we, we or you have an inversion? Well, look at it the way practically, what is really hindering your life? Is it your lack of ab abundance? Is it your relationships? Is it your um, feeling that you are not loved? You don't have a purpose? So all of these things are kind of signs that indicate that there is an inversion because, well, we've been also injected into an in inverted timeline which is the Archonic timeline, and that timeline had been released. That matrixial format is dissolving, and you see this, and I say that a million times, but when we have this rigid identification with your body, then you are just reliving these patterns of programming, and you are reimposing the inversions. So today we are going to purify the chakras in order to have a free flow of Kundalini so that you can open your automatic connection to your higher self and some of you already have that connection and know that the higher self is very subtle. The higher self never argues. It's very, very subtle. It's very open. It's not really clutching onto anything. It gives space. It's it's really unbiased towards what's going to happen. And where we are ultimately aiming to be is non-duality. So non-duality is also embodied, was embodied here on earth through Christ consciousness. And that is, I think, the first step for humanity to, to catapult itself into the fifth dimension. But 
non-duality is is a progress. I mean, of course, non-duality is right here, right now, but we still think we are human beings and we still live in a very dense reality. But I do see a lot of through my life that this non-duality is is emerging. That when I am faced with uh, traumatic situations, I I can stand my ground in the light of my being. And if you can do that when you're swayed and you still remember that light because you have cleared all of these energy centers, then your swaying is not going to be so much to one side or the other side and you're going to stay in the middle more and more. And as I was uh, kind of having downloads, Kundalini is everything. So be very careful nowadays because there's a lot of instant karma happening. Be very careful what you are investing your thoughts and feelings in because that's all the use of your own Kundalini, which is the creative force. You are a, <coughs> a God being creating. Today we're going to open the spine and make the Kundalini flow more unobstructedly. <coughs> Sorry. Interesting when I talk about the obstructions of Kundalini. And when you access that fiery force <coughs> of Kundalini, what it does, imagine it as a fire. It's It comes into the in, like through the root up the spine but it actually goes and and embodies all of these etheric energy centers and what it does is when you have an obstruction and inversion then it burns away all that is in in its way so that it can shoot up and then when I had this vision today and I, I shouldn't be talking so long but this is a trisul. I usually I, I show this symbol from time to time. A trisul. Three means three. Yeah. So this is the this is your sushumna nadi, which is the empty channel through which, like Kundalini, would be at the bottom of your spine, and when it awakens, then it harmonizes the other two, the feminine and masculine energy flow the ida and the pingala and they the ida these two are traversing each chakra and they're moving upwards and as you're clearing your chakras you can move to higher and higher planes of consciousness throughout the chakras yeah and here this is a beautiful it's like um, a symbol of time you see from nothingness, which is the zero point at the middle, we move out into creation and then move back into zero point time. Yes, because the middle is the zero point, the non-duality, the transcendence of transcendence of object, subjecthood, inside, outside. And so, just so that you have a jnana, or the inquiry, the knowing, the wisdom, also covered, so that you know why you are doing things. But in itself, knowing this is not going to move the energy. So, yes, one last mention. I used, like, for a long time, I was a so-called spiritual person but nothing really changed in my life until I tapped into my kundalini force and the kundalini is also the unification of the masculine and feminine force yeah, it's the unification and it's also the 
threefold flame in your heart and I had a vision that the threefold flame in the heart that shoot so the Kundalini comes from up from the root all the way through the heart that is kind of the breaking point a lot of the people have their uh, Kundalini stuck in their sexual center a lot of repressions there a lot of densities but let's say it's shot up all the way to the heart space that's huge that's already like a big uh, progress and then it goes up to the higher heart which is here the thymus gland and from here I see it goes back to the ultra major chakra the back side of the head it shoots forward your third eye the middle of the head and out and that's when that's when non-duality merging of the heroes gamos unity happens yes through the heart space higher heart backside and then because the higher mind and the higher heart need to harmonize yes and so white magic is the harmonization of opposites and we are white magi magicians light magicians okay let's start just dropping back into your seat dropping back into this body and you can start falling into this sacred space of the heart like the heart becoming this zero point force that is a suctioning field and it's sucking all of the energy into itself everything you experience in the so-called outside world is energy fluctuation of energy and once you are a master of your energy you are a master of your life and once you are a master of your life you then create masterfully for the highest good of all that's the only purpose of creation joy beauty love wisdom according to the law of one Christ is present Mother Mary and as we are slowing down we are becoming more and more aware of the breath and we are leaving all of these agitating impulses of the mind of the playful energies trying to interact if you have a lot of people around you you're calming down coming back to a center and we are not cognizing kundalini all we are doing is becoming vessels opening ourselves up so that we can clear any type of inversion or density from the extended body field and we all connect to the essence of our higher selves and you can declare I am one with the I am presence And I am one with the collective I am presence of humanity. And we connect to Mother, Father, God. And I've had this vision as we are sitting around the fire, literally around the fire. And as we are connecting vertically, we are connecting to Mother, Father, God through our hearts. 
And we also, as we're sitting on the ground by a fire, we're also connecting to Mother Gaia. And we are anchoring this light of Mother, Father, God, but at the same time we are being fed by the immensity, this exuberance of this beautiful, very, very high dimensional planet, Mother Earth. There's, there's, there are these blessed forces, healing forces. And these are all just the body of Prakriti. Prakriti is the non-manifest Shakti. And we can also drop our consciousness from our root chakra all the way to our earth star and plug into the crystalline grid of the new earth. We all know that we have entered, the earth had moved into the new earth paradigm, shifted. We plug into this crystalline grid, it traverses the entire planet. And as it's traversing the entire planet, it is also plugged in. throughout all the dimensions, interconnected, one with each other. And there is no hierarchy among the dimensions. Know that only the human mind creates hierarchies. Everything is in perfect divine order. And that which is not in divine order is now being reconfigured into the highest love light of Mother, Father, God. Let us start as we're sitting in a circle from all over the world. We're circulating our heart flame in our circle. And it's going around into each heart, it's circulating this purity of intention, purity of higher selves, our master selves, mother, father, God self. Entering the plane of the Guru Tattva ascended master's plane, the original Elohim plane, I asked Mother Father God to oversee and overlight this transmission and clearing of inversions, all the remaining inversions, dark portals, implants, parallel timelines, any and all energetic blockages, karmic residue from our energy matrices in this session, in highest love, purity, smoothness, integrity, so it is. I also call upon our 12th dimensional shield of protection. And only the highest love, light, wisdom, will can come through this field. And otherwise, it's impenetrable. Thank you. And now, as we connected vertically and horizontally through our hearts. The 
the birds are rejoicing. We can drop our defenses, we can drop all of the looping thought patterns. And you see Kundalini, Mother Shakti, Mahas Shakti, can easily be tapped into when you consider this exuberance of spring, the budding of the trees, the sun, the rays becoming warmer and warmer. the flowers in bloom, all of that is Mother Shakti. And just be, be here one with all of this unfolding. And as we're circulating our heart flame in this circle, and whenever you do this meditation, you can just plug into this circle. Moving deeper and deeper into our white crystalline diamond lotus heart. I call in our angelic medical teams, our guides. All of our light teams that serve the highest purpose of all. And now, as you learned, activate your Merkaba light body. You can visualize the Merkaba as there's a triangle. It's a three-dimensional triangle from above your head to two sides. It's one side looking forward from your heart space forward all the way to your knees so from above your head all the way to your knees it's looking it's an ordinary pyramid almost and then we have the inverted pyramid moving from below your feet, moving from your earth star as its edge all the way up to your heart. And if you do not have this ability to visualize, just visualize a golden light that is spinning around clockwise anti-clockwise and through an axis through a right axis and left axis and I'm now activating the Merkaba light body this is your transportational vehicle that humanity is now getting used to this is a vehicle that you can use to traverse the dimensions, do corrections. Also use it for soul retrieval or you can go into spaces, timelines or you can just heal. I'm asking each one of us, so as this octahedron, because it has eight sides, starts spinning fast, it's creating a light bubble around your body, and the center is your heart space, it's 
activating this Merkaba light body. I'm asking all the angelic medical teams to make any and all corrections in our light vehicle, light body vehicle. Any and all inversions And as you are situated, your consciousness is expanding as you are situated in your light vehicle. And see how your light vehicle is your light body. You can extend your light body as wide as you can, as tall as you can, depending on what you want to achieve. And we can just practice the following. Move all the way, call back all of your aura, all of your energy field, contract it back into the heart space. Then you have a more imminent feeling of the body, the physical body. And then from the physical body, slowly expand outward. And you're connecting to the 12th dimension, which is non-material, Mother, Father, God. And just see through your spine, from the heart upwards, we are reattaching to our pranic channel through the spine upward all the way to the 12th dimension and from the heart downwards into Mother Gaia. And as you've ascertained this beautiful pranic channel, this is your vertical axis, the Y, yes? And then we are now going to use the X axis, which is the horizontal axis, and start moving this octahedron, heart being the center, along those axes. Call in Archangel Michael and Gabriel to correct any and all inversions in this field throughout the 12 dimensions. And we call in to embody our soul essence. The Merkaba is moving very fast. The faster it moves, you are lifting yourself up into a higher vibratory field. And as soon as you do that, there is that place of healing, instant healing. So see yourself, your body specifically, the physical body becoming transparent. And it's being engulfed within this conscious plasma life bo light body. You are a conscious plasma light body emanation.
and each cell is now completing its crystallization process, fully crystallized. Moving from the carbon density into the crystalline density. Transferring the iron from the blood. Moving into a high crystalline photonic frequency. It's a transfusion of light. And now we're just going to move into the tailbone and from the tailbone into the bone marrow of the entire physical body. Moving back into its crystalline molecules, reigniting the original DNA blueprint of the God being. What it's showing me is that the tailbone might have a portal. So visualize the tailbone. We're moving the energy in the tailbone anti-clockwise. now clockwise. Closing all of these inverted portals so that the Kundalini can rise upward instead of downward. The bone marrow activated, the interstitial fluid which is between the cells is now being cleansed of all the toxins. I ask for the repair of the telomeres, so nerve endings. Activating the memory of the anti-aging molecule, stem cells. And the light body is repairing. I ask all of our medical teams to allow to repair any and all rips in the aura. And we are going to call in this emerald mother flame. It's beautiful green emerald. And right now this emerald flame is going to attract to itself the inorganic matrix, the ar arconic matrix impositions into our extended body-mind field. And this green 
emerald flame is now gathering all of the heavy metals in the blood, in the joints, in the lymph. It's attracting it to itself so that it can transmute it. This is called alchemy. So you see, this is also Kundalini to get it. Light work is work through Mother Shakti, through its myriad of qualities. And Shakti is usually emanating as a fire. It can take up any quality like the green fire, red fire, white golden fire, black fire. emerald green flame is cleansing off all of the magnetic platinum implants from the brain from the skeleton Specifically, all of the AI, the lower for the AI machinery, especially in the solar plexus. You may have this feeling that your body becomes this. ball of energy that's being pulled in many directions at the same time because all of these impositions are being pulled extracted so now there's a pull from your belly button backwards from the front body of the belly button front out and I'm asking the Merkaba field to start spinning faster and faster dissolving any and all frequencies that are not in line with the law of one. Wonderful. All you can do is give yourself permission to open And now we're going to extend and expand the pranic channel. So imagine as Mother Earth, Gaia, it's actually feeding us these wonderful life frequencies. They're emanating from the center, the crystalline heart. into your earth star, cleansing it. I'm asking the Elohim to cleanse any and all obstructions in our earth star. So if we have these feelings that I never wanted to be on this planet, I am homesick, 
Why am I in this density? I don't like my body. I am ridden with many physical ailments. I'm asking all of this to clear. All of these programs from the Earth Star. And now ask as the Earth Star had cleared. We're moving into the root. And you see this golden crystalline white shaft and it's interspliced with red flames. It's coming into your root and it's cleansing the root and now we can de declare to cleanse all of our contracts that do not serve our unification with Mother, Father, God. All the contracts, soul contracts, that no longer serve our higher, highest good. Our contracts to stay in poverty, to stay in anxiety, cleared, cancelled. And I ask Mother, Father, God, the Elohim realm, our angelic medical teams of the highest light, our galactic brothers and sisters who serve the light, to transmute this energy of anxiety, fear, lack, codependency, betrayal, separation on a cause core effect and memory level and seal it into an in invincible force field of God's love. Very important. So we are removing everything and anything with the help of our light body Merkaba vehicle as it's spinning faster and faster. We are removing everything that is belonging to the false 3D matrix. And I feel a lot of you also have this innate non-trust. Know that the ego has this innate non-trust, so it doesn't trust, it's suspicious. It's questioning, it's dividing. It's judging. Know that your judging is the root of your separation. And yes, you needed all of this to survive in the old earth plane, 3D, arconic matrix. But now there's no need anymore. So do not bring these very outdated programs into this brand new loving light reality and we are going to now transmute with the flame of kundalini coming from the center of mother earth up into the sacral center any and all lack of playfulness inventiveness joy anything and everything that is obstructing our limitless creational play for the highest good of all 
be transmute this energy, cause, core, effect, and memory. Just see this from the sexual center, second chakra. And we seal it into an invincible force field of God's divine love. This is what's called turning lead into gold. The lead of your old blood into this crystalline love, light, wisdom, will, light being, sovereign, one with the love of God. We clear any and all sexual maladies, malfunctions, inversions, addictions to pornography, addictions to perverted relational programming between the sexes. any and all dark portals to be transmuted at cause, core, effect and memory level. Cause, core, effect. And memory level. And to be sealed into an invincible force field of God's divine love. Forces are very strong. If you feel nausea, just open up even wider, expand your light body. I would also ask to transmute this energy of panic. I know I am awakened. I know that there's more than the body. I am one with my higher self. I am seeing traces of my soul being one with Mother, Father, God. But I do not know how to create this new earth paradigm where in my immediate surrounding and now this is to be removed transmuted from this creational center which is your sexual center this is one of the most essential steps today I ask this doubt to be transmuted this helplessness, this feeling lost, this feeling of floatiness, not knowing what direction to take. I ask to transmute this energy, cause, core, effect and memory. And seal it into an invincible force field of God's divine love.
I ask for all the last corrections from our angelic medical teams to be performed. And all the dark portals in our extended energy matrices to be now sutured, healed into the harmonized 12th dimensional 1 to 12 matrix seal field. Harmonize, harmonize, harmonize. Now move this flame of Mother Shakti into your solar plexus. This is your will center, will power. And the following traces of inversions need to be transmuted. Lack of willpower. Codependency. Narcissistic tendencies of service to the ego self. Feelings of helplessness, dissolving, transmuting all memory of abuse and other egoic will in position on you or your egoic will in position on others, which is not for the highest good of all. Oh. Remove it through all the layers, all the dimensions of time space. Thank you. These energies need to be transmuted, cause, core, affect, and memory. And seal it into an invincible force field of God's divine love. So let's place a Merkaba light body, which is this eight pointed star octahedron, because it's three dimensional. In the earth star chakra, and start spinning it, spinning it. In the root chakra, the sexual center, second chakra, solar plexus chakra, just a little bit beyond your belly button, heart center, higher heart center, top of your sternum, Alta major chakra at the back side of your head. Center of your head, third eye. This is like this golden star, photonic crystalline, golden white, conscious light. Place it into your crown. 
your causal chakra just beyond your head. Clearing all of the obstructions that are causing an impediment to your omnipresence, omnisense, clairvoyance, clairaudience, claircognition. Also into your soul star chakra beyond that, half a meter beyond your head. Stellar gateway chakra. That's where your aura becomes more dense, that level, galactic level. Just see these Merkabas, these octahedrons spinning clockwise, harmonizing all of the dimensions, all of the existential planes harmonized. And I want to ask and declare to transmute any and all inversions throughout the 12 dimensions at cause, core, effect and memory and seal them into an invincible field of God's divine love. Connecting now back into the memory of the blueprint we come here with the divine soul blueprint activating all the 12 strand dna 24 strand dna 36 strand dna on a subatomic level activate the crystalline matrix seal substances of light, intelligent, plasma, light. I am now asking for the transmutation of the dominance of the mind field. The mind is everywhere. The mind is not in your brain or in your head. The mind is your body. This is also depending on your free will. I ask now for the transmutation and integration of the mind field the highest light, wisdom, will, love, Mother, Father, God. Allowing yourself to become one throughout all the planes of existence. Allow yourself to embody the essence of your higher self. The essence of your non-dual knowing, of your non-dual unconditional loving. And now, from the heart space, we expand outwards infinitely into the multiverse. And the heart space is that zero point field the nothingness that becomes something.
and now call in every single person into this expanded Merkaba heart light field. whom you have a striped drama, unresolved business, so ex-lovers, present lovers, husbands, wives, mothers, fathers, grandparents, call them in, you are called them in to transmute any and all discord, any and all separation, call them into the flames of your light body. Your children. Any and all person whom you, whom you had contact with. Disharmony. And you become one, you expand as one, you harmonize as one. This is called harmonizing into your zero point field. Allow this beautiful merging, this beautiful merging to happen. You merge all of your chakras, they become one with the heart field. So all of these separate Merkabas spinning in the chakras become this one unified Merkaba. And then finally, we connect the higher heart, which is your sternum, with the third eye, through the back side of the head, at the altar major chakra. Connecting the higher heart, the higher mind, connecting the male and the female the hierogamic flame. Harmonizing your Ida and Pingala into the merging with God, Mother, Father, God.
anything you feel that is attacking you in the so-called matrix or outside world, call it back into your higher heart. become so expanded in love, in this invincible force field of God's divine love, that it's just burning everything up, but you have to expand and allow feel a lot of pain in my heart. Transmute this energy of attack, discord, trauma, evil, demonic entities on a cause, core, effect, and memory level. Cause, core, and memory level and seal it into an invincible force field of God's divine love. Give it over to the divine love. Mother, Father, God. So it is. I ask, dear Mother, Father, God, to seal this transmission in all the four directions, all the four corners. And I ask that this light information be translated on a cellular and physical level in a most smooth, loving, soft way in order to adjust, harmonize our lives, realities to the highest timeline of Mother Father God love, Mother Father God's love, will, wisdom, joy, love. So it is. I thank our higher selves, master selves, mother, father, God, for this transmission and healing, ascension, transmutation, recalibration, reassembling, completing unifying into the one heart of love as being 
the organic blueprint of humanity. Allowing slowly your sense of your being to also inhabit this body. If you have expanded too much back into the body, feeling this exuberance of the self, of the light, of the soul in the body. Back into the body. And there is no difference between the higher realms and the lower realms. There's no difference. They're all embodied here right now. And this is that practical ascension process. harmonizing the inside and outside, meaning your God self then creates the outside. And I ask also now to disconnect our energies I ask for the 12th dimensional shield of protection for each one of us. Call yourself here. Thank you, friends, for being here for this multiversal work for the highest good of humanity the more we can the more of us who can anchor their soul light we create organically according to the new earth paradigm And the next and the next and the next now moment as it miraculously unfolds into the perfection of love. As you harmonize into your light and love, the world harmonizes into the light and love of the one Mother Father God. So it is. We have another practical session tomorrow in order to deepen into this frequency and the physical body can catch up and assimilate more on all the levels. See you tomorrow. Namaste. Let us walk in the love, the knowing, the wisdom, the law of one.